Marie Forleo shared a video about the power of following your fear and it's something that I really relate to because in my life I've seen that it's it can definitely give us so many beautiful gifts within it I didn't know when I followed my fear in the past I didn't expect things to happen the way they did when I was afraid to quit a job at a gym that I wasn't happy at and it was one of the best decisions I ever made. I wasn't meant to continue to work there at that point in my life. Everything was amazing, beautiful, but it wasn't for me at that time. And I was terrified of quitting. I didn't know what the hell I was gonna do. But I did it, right? And before I do doing my three month road trip across the country, I was afraid, I was terrified. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Was I gonna run out of money? and I had no idea what was gonna happen, but it was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. And to this day, every time I follow my fear, something beautiful happens. If I'm afraid to talk to a beautiful woman, then when I get over the fear and I actually follow that, I've had beautiful experience with that. And even when I'm afraid to start a conversation with a stranger out on the street, but when I do, I have beautiful conversations. And it can be fear in any area of life. It can be career, it can be anything. I'm just giving you a few examples. But I think there's a lot of beauty behind that. I went to an event and they had a thing on the wall that said, everything you want is on the other side of your fear. I don't know if I agree with that 100%, but I think there's a lot of truth behind that, right? I always use that quote by Joseph Campbell, the cave you fear to enter has the treasure you seek. And I know that can be interpreted in many ways, but it could be saying that maybe that fear is actually guiding you towards what's next for you on your path for your growth, right? I think of the video um, Marie shared a quote by Stephen, Stephen I think, or Steve Pressfield, um, who has a, some really good books out there. Um, and he said that like the, the, the more scared we are of a specific work or job or a calling, that the more we know that we actually have to do it. And then later on he said that, that um, it's an important part for the growth of our soul. And I believe there's a lot of truth behind that because that's what I've seen in my life. I don't think there's a lot of growth when we run away from our fears, right? When you see something that scares you and you go the other direction or you try to go around it, I don't know if there's a lot of growth behind that. But I've seen in my own life, when I actually face that fear and go in that direction, there's been a lot of beautiful, beautiful growth. So I do believe that there's a lot of power in following your fear, right? And of course there are fears that <laughs> you're best not to follow, but if it's something that you're like scared because of what might happen, and how you might look in front of others, right? or you might fail or things like that. There might be a lot of power by following that fear and seeing what's waiting for you on the other side, right? And I love when people say it's not about the goal. It's not about getting the goal. It's not about what you get when you get to the goal, but it's about the person you become on the journey to the goal, right? While you're heading to that goal, while I was facing my fears, I became I don't like to say a better version of myself, but I don't know, a more evolved version of myself, a, a stronger, healthier, my, I don't know what word to use, but you do grow through that process, right? And you get to a point that the goal doesn't even matter anymore because it's you're satisfied with the changes you see in yourself, right? Not that you need to change things, but you're bringing qualities out of you that are beautiful, that maybe if you hadn't gone through that challenge, through that fear, 
maybe those qualities would have stayed dormant inside of you, right? Maybe the fear actually wakes that up in you, right? Wakes up that warrior or that other beautiful qualities that we all have, right? And sometimes we need little triggers in life, right? Um, oh, there's a war that... A catalyst, that's a word that came to my mind, right? Sometimes for a chemical reaction, you need a catalyst. So sometimes maybe to bring that out of us, to bring out those beautiful, amazing qualities that you know you have deep inside, but sometimes we need something to bring them out. Maybe following that fear can be the, the equation for that. Maybe that's exactly what you need. I don't know, and maybe that can inspire you to actually follow your fear a little more. Right? I've followed a bunch of fears in my life and I'm still here, haven't died, I'm still here. And I can tell you that it's worth it. It's definitely, definitely worth it. And then, she, she, uh, Marie shared a, a tweetable, she always does that, I love that about her. Uh, she shared a, a tweetable that was like, um, it was like follow, no, follow, something like follow your fear it's, a G it's the GPS for where your soul wants you to go. What if that's true? What if that... I've also heard once that fear can also be excitement by going through a f different filter, right? Going through maybe some belief systems that we have. So what if that fear is actually excitement but that we are interpreting as fear because of a belief system that we have. So I think that's a fascinating way of looking at it. What if... I do think those strong emotions are guiding us in life, right? The, that joy that things bring to you, happiness, those are things that you definitely want to follow, right? That we, we make it a point to follow that in our lives. But what if fear is another one of those? I don't know, have you ever considered that fear could be, could be, a GPS. I don't know. I think that's a really cool way of looking at it, right? I think improving that relationship with fear, it's such a gift. That's something that I've done in my life that I'm continue to do, is to actually improve the relationship that I have with those things that I used to run away from in the past or, or, or look away from or things like that. And I think that there's a lot of power be, uh, behind that. So. I don't know, I just wanted to share that with you because I think it's a really cool approach or idea or whatever. So I'll put a link to her video below. Uh, I love her ideas. I, I, you should really subscribe to her channel. She has really, really cool ideas. Um, and that's it. That's it. I just wanted to share that with you. So I really, really hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day.